morning dear students the next uh, solution is various possible solution of the one dimensional wave equation that is utt is equal to c square uxx by the method of separation of variable so in the previous uh, class we have seen a various possible solution of heat equation we have seen so now we'll see the what is what will happen to the wave equation <coughs> consider utt is equal to c square uxx which is nothing but a wave equation which when already we have derived in the previous classes which is which can be written as dou square u upon dou t square is equal to c square dou square u upon dou x square so here also we have to substitute u is equal to xt this u what we have this u and this u both supposed to be replaced by xt where x is equal to x of x and capital t is equal to t of small t with the solution of the pde so this is the solution of what here pde now hence the pde becomes means we need to replace this u is equal to ut in this above expression so what happens do square of capital xt divided by do t square is equal to c square into do square of xt divided by do x square so next is what here now among x and t so to whom we have to take constant here here this derivative is partial derivative with respect to t means capital x is constant so keep so therefore capital x is out do square of capital t upon do of small t square is equal to c square into here this is with respect to x means capital t you keep outside do square x upon do of small x square so next so uh, once we taken we have to take a common uh, k to equate this both so before equating we we'll just first uh, uh, rearrange uh, by using variable separation method so this x is variable you shift to the right hand side because do uh, x upon uh, do x square having the same variable and t and c square to the left hand side so on cross multiplying this x and c square t on other side it will become 1 upon c square t into do square t upon do t square is equal to 1 upon x do square x upon do x square so once you make this arrangement now we'll equate now so on equating so it will become what here 1 upon c square t do square t upon do t square is equal to k means equating both side to a common constant k so this one as well as i second one over here 1 upon capital x do square of capital x upon do x square okay so then we'll cross multiply this to the right hand side is equal to k so then we'll get a differential equation form then we need to simplify how we have done in the heat equation now now rearranging this cross multiply this c square t to the right hand side which is uh, into uh, multiply with k it will become do square t upon do t square is equal to c square k t and here it will be do square x upon do x square is equal to k into x so which is nothing but do square t upon do t square minus c square k t equal to 0 and here do square x upon do x square minus k x equal to 0 so on simplifying these both so this is a, a function of t and here also we have variable t function of x and so these both are homogeneous differential equations so we can write this one as 
so the above equations can be written as can be written as d square t upon dt square minus c square into kt is equal to 0 and d square x upon dx square minus k into x equal to 0. So, this can be reframed as capital D square of t minus c square into kt equal to 0 and this will be what here capital D square x minus kx equal to 0. So, among this you take t common it will become d square minus c square k into t is equal to 0 and here you take uh, x common d square minus k into x equal to 0. Therefore, we got these two equations then I will say auxiliary equation is for this is what here so it will be d square minus c square k equal to 0 is the auxiliary equation and I will say this is equation number 1 and here auxiliary equation is d square minus k equal to 0 uh, and uh, we will say what here this is equation number 2 but see that here d capital D stand for d by dt and here capital D stand for d by dx okay so by keeping these two in uh, mind we need to find the roots by giving the values for k as 0 plus p square minus p square in the form of three cases and we have to complete the solution here so now case number one case one let let k is equal to 0 so put k is equal to 0 here and here we will see one by one so put let k is equal to 0 the equation 1 becomes what happens to equation 1 here so d square minus c square k is 0 is equal into 0 is equal to 0 so continue with the simplification so c square into 0 is 0 so we will get what here here so it will be d square minus 0 equal to 0 or d square is equal to 0 or d is equal to 0 and d is equal to 0 are the two roots so therefore the solution is because i am not writing complementary function because here right hand side so it, uh, both are nothing but homogeneous right hand side is uh, means right hand side 0 means what here no pi so a complementary function only is the solution so that's why we will write a uh, complete the solution is by using this as so this is in terms of t so t is equal to so two roots here so therefore c1 plus c2 with respect to t it is so that's what t into e raised to 0 into t so which is nothing but t is equal to c1 plus c2 t is the solution of t so similarly similarly we will work out for equation number 2 so what is equation number 2 here so put k is equal to 0 here so equation 2 becomes equation 2 becomes that is d square minus 0 equal to 0 or or what happens here d square is equal to 0 or d is equal to 0 and d is equal to 0 one more so therefore the solution is the solution is so this is in terms of x so x is equal to with respect to x means so c1 c2 already have taken so i will take uh, uh, c3 plus c4 it is with respect to x means multiply x into e raised to 0 into x because roots are 0 so therefore finally capital x is equal to c3 plus c4 x e raised to 0 is 1 so this is the answer of x so therefore so once we got these two so hence the solution hence the solution of the pde 
is what here u is equal to what we have x into t or t into x whatever uh, we have taken so therefore u is equal to x value is c3 plus c4 x into t instead of writing here i am writing in the beginning so it will be so x into t so i will write x value here x is c3 plus c4 x and t value is here so it will be uh, c1 plus c2 t so this is the solution when k is equal to what here 0 now case number 2 case 2 is let k is equal to plus p square so this value we need to apply in, uh, apply in equation number 1 so equation number 1 you know it that so what is equation number 1 it is d square minus c square k and uh, so equation number 2 is d square minus k we need to apply here the value of k as what here plus p square so equation 1 becomes equation 1 becomes that is d square minus c square p square equal to 0 and equation 2 becomes equation 2 becomes what uh, equation number 2 is what here it is d square minus k square is equal to uh, sorry uh, p square it is equal to 0 so on simplifying on simplifying what happens here so d square equal to shift it to the right hand side c square p square or d is equal to plus or minus square root of c square p square which is nothing but d is equal to plus or minus deriv uh, uh, par square root of c square p square is cp so therefore d is equal to plus cp and uh, d is equal to minus cp so with the help of these both so we have to write a solution the solution is the solution is it is in terms of t so therefore solution is t is equal to so c1 c2 c3 c4 is over next continuation uh, c5 e raised to c p t plus c6 e raised to minus c p t so this is a one uh, solution of uh, t next one more we need to simplify so here uh, d square is equal to plus p square or d is equal to plus or minus square root of p that is d is equal to plus or minus p so therefore d is equal to plus p and d is equal to minus p so we got this the solution is the solution is because this is in terms of x so solution will be in terms of x only here so here it will be capital x is equal to c7 e raised to px plus c8 e raised to minus px because our roots are what here our roots are plus p and minus p that's why we have to write so this is a solution for differential equation in terms of x so therefore hence the solution of the p d e is u is equal to x t that is u is equal to two brackets so purposely i will write the value of x here you can write x x t or t x here so because in order so x value i will write here that is c7 e raised to px plus 
C8 e raised to minus Px and here T value is C5 e raised to Cpt plus C6 e raised to minus Cpt. So this is the required solution when k is equal to plus p square. Now case number 3 when let k is equal to minus p square therefore equation 1 becomes equation 1 becomes that is so because of this uh, minus sign it will become d square plus c square p square is equal to 0 and equation 2 becomes equation 2 becomes d square plus p square equal to 0 so equation number 2 so on simplification d square is equal to minus c square p square which is nothing but d is equal to plus or minus square root of minus c square p square which is nothing but d is equal to plus or minus square root of minus is i and uh, square root of c square p square will be cp so this is a complex root so therefore our complementary function or the solution is the solution is what happens here it will become capital t is equal to so no real part means directly so we have completed up to c8 i will continue c9 cos of cpt plus c10 sin of cpt this is a solution for t now and here for this it will be d square is equal to minus p square or d is equal to plus or minus square root of minus p square which is nothing but plus or minus i times p so therefore this is also complex so the solution is the solution is so it is in terms of x so therefore x is equal to so up to te, uh, c10 we have taken i will continue so c11 cos of it is with respect to x means px plus c12 sin of px so these are the solutions for t and x so we have to conclude the final solution therefore hence the solution of the PDE is u is equal to xt that is u is equal to two brackets here so <clears throat> u is equal to so x value I have taken here and t value here so which is nothing but the solution when k is equal to minus p square and all three cases is nothing but a required solutions of a wave equation here so with this so we have completed uh, both the solutions for heat and wave